Hello and welcome to the Crank Clan. We know there's a lot of lists out there for people's best of E3s. So today we're looking at our picks for E3's best moments. If you're wondering why it took us so long to make this video, go check out our channel update video that should clear everything up. So without further ado, here we go. First category is best art style. We all know Nintendo is great at designing beautiful games, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is no exception. With its beautiful cell shading, colorful environment, lighting, shadows, and all around living world, it'll definitely be a game that we will spend hours just admiring the scenery. The runner up for best art style is Dishonored 2. Moving on to the next category, least expected game of E3. Now I think we all can agree that nothing was expected less than the reveal of God of War, or should I say, Dad of War. In the next installment they changed up the combat mechanics and gave you a child and a dad beard. Do not be sorry, be better. The runner up for least expected was Crash Bandicoot Remastered. We're all let down that it's not a new game. The next category on our list is most promising VR experience. Here at the Crank Clan, we all agree the game we are most excited to play on VR is Resident Evil 7. Not only is this a callback to the basics of Resident Evil, but it's also somewhat of a reimagining. And we're really intrigued to see what it has in store for us within this haunted house. Runner up is Ubisoft's Eagle Flight. Just because we want to be able to be eagles, don't, don't judge. We all know that between a game's first reveal and its release, a game goes through many changes. Sometimes bad, I will scream rain. Sometimes great. These are our top two picks for this year's most improved games. Starting off for a change with the runner up, Battlefield 1. For innovating the way that we look at the classic first person shooters, bring us back to World War 1, vamping up their graphics from looking like we're playing back in Gary's mod on the PC. Now that we've gotten Battlefield 1 out of the way, let's talk about this category's winner, For Honor. Last E3 was revealed as a multiplayer chivalry reskin, but this year they brought us even more. At E3 we saw that there will be story for each of the three factions, Vikings, Samurais, and Knights. We got to see a barbaric Viking take on Samurai, and it was gorgeous. For next category, we chose to do something a little bit less conventional and went with most intriguing story of E3. The winner here comes from the PlayStation exclusive Horizon Zero Dawn. It is set in a dystopian future in which almost everything is wiped out, but technology remains in the way of giant, dinosaur-like beasts. And you play as an outcast who is set to discover the true past of her ancestors. Not many games really offer this sort of mysterious vibe, so that's the main reason we're super excited about this game. Runner up for most intriguing story is Bethesda's Prey. The retelling of an old classic, we cannot wait to see what Arcane does with this beautiful masterpiece. As we all know, every console takes pride in their exclusive games. And here's our favorite Xbox exclusives of E3 2016. The winner here is definitely Forza Horizon 3. Yes, it's a racing game, but it's not any racing game. It's a horizon game, and what that means is you're not just racing around tracks, you're exploring the wilderness. This game is set in Australia, giving us numerous amounts of different environments to explore and tear up in a wide variety of vehicles. And now that Xbox has crossplay with Windows 10, racing with friends has never been this easy and looked this good. The runner up here is Dead Rising 4. No, it's not the best looking game. No, it's story is not gonna be amazing, but there's something fulfilling in wiping out thousands and thousands of zombies in mere minutes. Frank is back and more prepared than ever for the zombie invasion. Hack and slash zombies, save hostages, and even take selfies in this Christmas inspired game. To end this best of E3 video, we decided to go to our favorite panel, PlayStation, for their best exclusive game. For us, no other game they had blew us away as much as Spider-Man. This Spider-Man title is not going to be based off of any movie, unlike any of the previous Spider-Man games. Another great thing about this game is it's brought to us by none other than Insomniac Studios, and unlike the no-name people that made the other games, we know and trust Insomniac to make great, comical, and action-filled games. It's also worth noting that Insomniac Studios are working alongside Marvel Comics to make the best game they can for us. We don't know exactly what the story of this game will be, but no matter what it is, we're excited to see it, and excited to play this game. The runner-up for PlayStation is obviously Death Stranding, a game where you play as Norman Fetus. We don't know exactly what we'll be doing, but we do know that Hideo Kojima 
is the one who's making this game, and we've all been curious about what he's been planning since he left Konami. I think every gamer is excited to see what this new title holds, considering that Hideo Kojima, a real artist and a true pioneer of gaming, is the one that's bringing this to the table. Honorable mentions include Star Wars Battlefront 2, Quake Champions, Halo Wars 2, Watch Dogs 2, Days Gone, Batman Arkham VR, and Steep, since it does not look like we're getting Skate 4 anytime soon. I mean, come on, EA. Give us what we want. What did you guys think about our list? Did you agree with it? Did you disagree with it? What do you think was the best game at E3 this year? Let us know in the comments section below, or tell us on our social media, which is on the screen now. Until next time, see you on the flippity flip side!